be honest do i look like a naked mole rat hi guys i'm kaylee welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so today's video is going to be a little bit different i've been a little bit more creative and i realized i can't only do hauls and vlogs so i'm doing my purse collection like you've read by the title get ready because there's so much going on here i'm gonna go fast um i'm not gonna go in order of like all luxury and not because if you saw this pile right here it's not cute so all of these i've accumulated probably since grade 10 or 11 and i'm 24 so it's been a hot minute i don't know if this includes every purse that i own oh i see one hold on <laughs> i just found another purse but like i was saying i don't know if this um contains every purse that i own because sometimes stuff is scattered everywhere and it also does not contain like larger bags unless they're like name brand then i did add in one kind of like tote-ish bag also really wanted to wait until i had this new designer one coming but it's just taking so freaking long to get here so i'm just gonna film this that could be in the next one or a haul or, or whatever um but without further ado i'm gonna start so very first one that we're gonna start with is this little guest cutie bag i actually thrifted this and actually it was my friend mercedes who was the one that found this i don't think that this is real because the inside does not say guess um so if it's real it's vintage guess but i don't think it's real and it was a couple dollars at the thrift store next one is a bigger one this one is coach and this one is so flipping old um it has purple inside this one what my ex my first boyfriend his parents bought me this as a birthday present i think and i was gonna give it away but then i like started wearing it like this and i was like okay she cute so i decided to keep her plus she was expensive and honestly in good quality um my ex got me a matching wallet that i only just got rid of a couple days ago because i bought myself a gucci one and it was like falling apart but this isn't falling apart so i'm keeping her the next one this is my oldest purse in my collection like i told you not not going in order i don't know why this you know you just see something and it gives you nostalgia and it makes your heart warm and fuzzy so you just want to keep it that's me with this part purse honestly nothing special this is from winners it is literally so old like actually i had my first purse was from max like m-e-x-x or something like that and it fell apart but this is like one of my first purses and i don't know why i love it i just always think it's gonna come back into style turquoise inside it's pretty trash right there but i don't know and like sometimes like i still use it like i still think it's freaking cute so yeah then um this was my trying to think which gift this was my my aed gift from work um from monate from my upline she's a little vintage dior bag she's so beautiful chocolate brown vintage like i said i just love vintage um this is like orange tortoise shell and it says dior silver um hardware orange tortoise shell um the inside is like light brown um and this i got from vestiaire i always like to shop sustainably and if you get um, on vestiaire if you get very good condition it's literally brand new so and then you get vintage pieces too so next one this is from cult gaia and oh so beautiful um actually i had like a bunch of credit um because i have like an infinite visa if you guys don't have it you should get it um so essentially i had a bunch of credit and i bought this from nordstrom i think and um but i got it for free because i had all my credit i had like however much money saved from using my credit card so many times so i mean she's not that practical but she's gorgeous then we have another guess you're really gonna see a pattern because i love guess mini bags and vintage ones this is actual guess so she ain't fake but she's a cute little white one i've had this in my collection for maybe a year or two years now um this is also just from belly village they always have so many guest vintage ones i don't know what it is but she cute then you'll also see another trend of value village because she the show this is i thought it was guess but it's the brand chenson so this is a c not a g but it is blue jean i don't wear it enough it has like beige leather accents it's so beautiful and cute value village guys under 10 bucks you gotta shop there this next one is matt and nat and it's another little bucket bag this i actually got from winners and i think it, it was under 100 bucks for sure and i don't think it was like too close to 100 like i think it was like 70 but so cute light pink and 
for like a little like not I keep saying bucket bag and I mean baguette bag I don't love that there's not a lot of room but it's so such light leather that like you can't really tell that it's on your armpit okay so this is another mat and mat um, my girlfriend's got this for me and it's so beautiful the one thing I hate about this I love it I mean I don't hate it but the one thing I hate is that it scratches so easily so I'm like afraid to take it places um, but yeah this is like a long bag so if I'm feeling pink I have two options I have a long bag I have a little short bag but this is literally so beautiful and I feel like the structure of it is so unique um, and yeah it's beautiful the next bag just guess vintage bag vintage guest bag from Valley Village yeah so cute like this red little cutie bag like I can't this is really vintage you can tell because the inside is like I don't know if you can tell it's so dark on my camera but um, it's like that like 90s print I don't know how to explain it but this is so cute I don't wear this enough either I mostly use it as a handbag but so cute next up is my Louis bag um, I didn't actually get this on um, vestiaire I got this on I forget what website but they also carry like vintage stuff uh, but yeah it's just like a long bag this was my first designer thing I think I bought my no it wasn't it was like my second but yeah she's so beautiful and I love her speaking of my first designer purchase this was it so this is Dior Dior is my favorite brand um, I got this from Vestiaire as well but I got it in good condition not very good so it was only like 300 bucks and I was like my first vintage I'm gonna get it um, the straps were fine but what was not good was the inside and it like go like this like breaks off everywhere and makes a mess um I don't regret getting it because honestly for like a black bag like this is gonna be timeless and it is beautiful and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it's like has a really cute print like honestly it's so beautiful um but yeah I have so many purses so I'm gonna say I don't wear it enough because I don't then we have another cutie bag that I also thrifted that I don't even know the name of it because there is no name so who knows but it's this little cutie bag so whenever I want a white bag with silver accents I have two to choose from um, it really depends on my vibe this is definitely more like cutie I feel pretty I feel cutie Virgin Mary yeah Valley Village don't know the brand couple dollars then I have two Rebecca ooh, Rebecca Rebecca Minkoff bags one is purple um, I got this on a boxing day sale I think two years ago my friend convinced me to get it and I really really still regret not getting this one blue one that was like had really cool zippers because this was more my friend and the blue one was more more me and I'll never forget that but I should have maybe got both because I do love this honestly and I get a lot of compliments on it um, so I got this from the Rebecca Minkoff site I think and yeah honestly it's really beautiful it's just I definitely wear little baguette bags and handbags more but still beautiful then I find the exact same bag but different print from winners and this was cheaper than the one I got so I had to get it plus it's like snake skin so like beautiful um, but again it's long so I don't wear it as much as I should but both love then another value village one this one is so good to wear okay i think actually this is broken hold up or no wait okay no she's not <laughs> so this is from value village 2 it's like beaded um i wear this when i wear like really fancy outfits so like monations when the, there was the red carpet event um really fancy occasions weddings i wore it too but it is a little bit broken because it wasn't in the greatest condition so the clasp comes apart really easily but this was still only like eight bucks and it's so dang cute then this is another oldie so this is a guest bag not a vintage one i bought this from guests um i love this because it gives me chanel vibes and i bought this on boxing day too actually like years ago so this was like 40 bucks and i used to wear this to weddings all the time and it was like my go-to purse so I love her nostalgia for sure my foot is asleep oh, so I gotta sit on my butt there we go next up let's do this one I love this purse so this was before snakeskin even really became a thing this is Ralph Lauren and she's so beautiful a little envelope bag I got this from the bay and this was on sale too I love this it was like I bought this like three or four years ago and it was like before snakeskin was really a trend 
and then like i'm sure they would have like upped the price when snakeskin became a trend but this is so beautiful i just find it a little bit hard to wear because it's an envelope bag so it's like kind of weird because it's so skinny sometimes but yeah honestly it's so beautiful like this is one of my favorite bags even though it's not like luxury designer okay next um, this little bag is like fake croc and it is from ASOS. I love this bag because it was like 40 bucks. I love it. I think it's cute, but I also don't really care about it if you know what I mean. So anytime I go to the bar, anytime I go somewhere that I'm drinking, that whatever, I bring this little guy because she's so cute, has gold hardware, and I wear gold versus silver quite often. Um, and yeah. Then, this was my ED gift, so executive director gift. And it's this little cutie Gucci bag. I also got this from Monate from my upline. And yeah, she's so cute. Honestly, for the price, I thought that this was a baguette bag. And then I got it and I was like, this is tiny. Because it was like, I'm not going to say how much, but it was like above 500 and below 1,000. So I was like, this is going to be like big or like medium. Like it's going to go under here. No. No, <laughs> but it's still cute and honestly it's like vintage vibes and cute and I love it and I do wear it. Then this bag is so beautiful, a little bit beaten up when I bought it, but I had to get it. It's Cole Han and it was also from Value Village. Um, I got this a couple years ago and I'm just obsessed with it because like this is like snakeskin and this is like croc, like not real or maybe, I don't know. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So. Yeah. Then this bag, honestly, it's from a store in the mall that I can't remember and I think it's shut down now, but um, it's just this little bag and has sequins. I love this. However, this part, I don't know how to like explain it other than saying it's kind of like slinky accordion style. When your hair gets stuck in here, it pulls and rips out. So it's honestly really hard to wear because even if my hair's up, my baby hairs, it pulls it out. So but like it's so gorgeous that I love wearing it and it was kind of expensive but yeah it is kind of a downside then two bags that are kind of similar that are both from Valley Village of course um, so this one is by the brand The Sack um, and it's really cute it's black it's like woven um, and honestly this is just so nice to wear to like the beach or something because it's so casual but still cute um, and then this is kind of like same vibes like it's tan and woven um, the brand is YKK whatever that is and yeah then another woven bag to kind of finish off the woven bags from Value Village again I love this as like an airport bag or a travel bag. Um, if I'm not wearing a backpack to the airport, I always bring this. The inside is like plastic. I don't know how to explain it, but I love this bag so much. And it's a nice like beach bag too. This bag used to also be my go-to. So this is like a, this is velvet. And then it has like beautiful flowers and glitter and sequins. Um, this is from Zara and I got it a couple years ago. I don't wear this enough because I have so many purses I love now, but this was definitely a, like a favorite of mine. I wore it all the time and I got so many compliments and yeah, she's really pretty. Then this is also from Value Village. I just showed this in my haul the other day. It is not guess, but it looks like guess because it has like this like pattern that looks guessy, um, but it's definitely like fake. This is the downside. No matter what I do, it bends this way. I'll like put it on something and it will like stretch, but eventually it always goes back there, which makes it really frustrating. But I love that it has like Fendi vibes and that's definitely what like gravitated me towards it. Does that make sense? The next one, also from Value Village, same haul, is this actual vintage guest one. That is really cute that I actually wore for the first time in one of my Instagram posts, um, but it's really pretty. The quality is amazing. It's so like heavy and good quality, and yeah, she's cute. We're almost done. Then I have this, which I know like I didn't need a red, another red snakeskin bag, but I've worn this once. I love though that it's really like rectangular, but something about the strap, sometimes on it's not as cute, but I got this from Value Village and the brand is Brown's Couture. Um, yeah, so obviously this is in competition with my Rebecca Minkoff one, so I don't wear it as often, but I just like have a fetish with purses, let's be real. I don't wear these often because I have a thousand. This purse was like my first big purchase myself. And it is this black Dior saddlebag, which I got from Bestiaire in very good condition. 
I honestly like am so in love with this bag it's probably like if you had to say like what's your favorite if you had to pick it's probably this this is always my go-to even though it's silver accents and I always wear gold this is my go-to like that's how much I love it and yeah this is just beautiful and I love it then I have this one, which is also from Value Village. Um, literally, guys, I get all my stuff from there. You guys need to shop there. But it has, like, this is, like, Croc, right? And then Fake, obviously. I think this is, like, a really cheap brand. Like, the brand is, like, K and K. I don't know. Honestly, this just looks so expensive, and it looks Gucci. So that's kind of why I got it, and it was, like, pretty cheap. Then we have this Michael Kors that I got from Costco guys like what um, I was gonna get this away because I don't or like sell it because I don't use it as much um, But then I went like this like I did with my coach one and I was like hmm That's kind of cute. So I used to always use the strap But I think I'm gonna start wearing it just under my armpit because it is really cute And then I have too many backpacks and then I'm done. Um, so the first one is guess I was gonna say guess, like make a guess, but it's actually guess. Um, this I got from Winners, actually both of them I got from Winners, so this one is black and it's bigger than the other one. It's so cute, it's still a mini backpack I would say. And then this one is matte and nat. I was gonna get for my friend's birthday and I was like, I want this though. So yeah, it's just this like cream one. Super cute too and super good for the airport too. And that's my haul. So I didn't include fanny packs. I didn't include bigger bags. I probably missed a couple bags, let's be real. But um, that is for the most part, I'm gonna say 99% of my purse collection. And I hope you enjoy. This was like a requested video when I made a poll on my Instagram and I was really excited to do this for you guys and really excited to go through my purses too. I love purses so much. They're definitely a fetish of mine. I definitely am, am obsessed. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up so that I know, as well as subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!